Hey everyone, it's Bass Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany, back with a new video after like a week's break maybe or eight days because, well, things happened, it was super hot in Hamburg and uh, a lot of things were like moving in my life and stuff and uh, apart from that, like, uh, if I had the time to shoot a video, well, like today, which is like, I plan to do it very, very early today, but uh, I had hustled with public transport, which sucks in Hamburg big time, so uh, there were like unauthorized personnel stuck in a in a tunnel where the tube was supposed to go through and uh, we were stuck in a tunnel for 40 minutes today and uh, I suggested to the company who runs uh, the, the public transport system or the, the tube system in Hamburg that instead of shutting down transport uh, for like having the police searching the tunnel, uh, they should run the people over that are in the tunnel illegally because like to, to, to set a statement and stuff to make a statement and uh, to prevent more people running into tunnels at like high noon traffic times so uh, well this happened and on, on the way into the city from where I live there were like uh, a bomb found so uh, like a World War II bomb and they had to transport the bomb on a ship underneath a bridge and uh, this bridge uh, was one that is uh, responsible for carrying on like both trains and like not exactly the autobahn but like a big highway like street which leads into the city so uh, there was like uh, delays as well so I had like I lost I guess one and a half hours for like delays on public transport today which totally sucked but there is good news as well and DJ wise, I am like touring and playing quite a lot uh, the next uh, month. So uh, on the first coming Saturday on 18th of August, I'm going to play like the Beat Boutique again for like a UK garage session and stuff. Then I'm going to go to Berlin to Erlangen. And then for September, uh, there is one date announced, which I really love to be announced or to announce. Uh, which is connected to the Reeperbahn Festival again, because at the Mojo Jazz Cafe, uh, they have like an open air session at the Reeperbahn Festival again, and I'm gonna play there from 11 to three, like the first opening set on Saturday, 22nd of September, which I'm really looking forward to, and I might play more at the Mojo Jazz Cafe as well. But for all dates and stuff, uh, have a look at my website, nightsales.de, which is linked to down in the description box. And also down in the description box, there are all DJ dates that are upcoming, which are like, I guess, 10 to 13, I guess, until early November, I guess. So uh, things are stacking up a lot of small shows, but also a few bigger ones. So um, this is uh, what I have to announce, but I'm in here for timeless music because I've been preparing my box right now for the sets at the Ewerk Erlangen and also at the Elastica Fetish uh, party in Berlin at the Maze. And I'm gonna play techno there and like a lot of proper quality stuff. And I rediscovered a record uh, which I hadn't forgotten about, but I hadn't listened to it in quite a while, which is this one, Laurent Garnier, Back to My Roots EP on Inner Visions, Inner Visions 16, and uh, which is like a beautiful, thing um here's the back and it's a 12 inch vinyl uh which is kind of strange because no not, not strange it's a two track 12 inch vinyl that's what i meant to say here is one side of the label and here is the other side uh back to my roots is one track the original effort desired mix and um panoramics which is also a kind of variation on back to my roots is the flip and what I find strange about vinyl and also digital releases these days is the fact that two track EP or two track singles are marked as EP. Although um, in this case, because both tracks uh, exceed the 10 or 11 minutes mark, um, it might come down to an EP, which originally stands for like an extended play, which is like, I guess above 16 minutes play time or 20 minutes uh, I don't know exactly but in that range and those tracks are like they have a total play time of 23 minutes so technically it's an EP but a two track thing to me isn't an EP at all but this is not uh, a thing I want to talk about originally um, Laurent Garnier 
is a DJ everyone should know, I guess, uh, from friends. Uh, he was involved in the FNAC store and also in the F Communications label big time, wrote a book uh, that's called Electroshock, which describes his journey um, into electronic music and into DJing from, uh, whoa, this is slipping, from the mid 80s, I guess, roughly onwards, uh, which is available in French and in English, uh, also his journey in like uh, DJing in the UK and stuff and very interesting, very thrilling, also like a lot of insider things and hints to, to old classic records uh, one should check out when one is like starting and fresh in the electronic music scene and he refers back to, to the late 80s, early 90s uh, a lot, like in terms of his tips and stuff and uh, I've been aware of Laurent Garnier for ever actually I bought his first record I guess in well not his first ever record he released but the first record I bought was I guess in 94 so uh, I buy his stuff on and off uh, actually since then and this is like a masterpiece that was released in 2008 on the Inner Visions label and uh, the Inner Visions label is run by Dixon and also famous for releasing stuff by Arm. Uh, Dixon is big time involved in the Robert... No, this is bullshit, he's not involved. He's playing a lot at the Robert Johnson in, in Offenbach, but is not involved in the club. But uh, Innervisions is an interesting label, uh, always up for quality, quality music. And this one is like a big, uh, one of the biggest, I'd say Detroit techno re referencing anthems that's not made in Detroit. So, uh, Epically long, like as, as I said, like 11 minutes plus for both Mathis. Um, the beats on the uh, Back to My Roots original track or on the original Effort Desire mix are like a little tribal influence, influenced. There are more techno than tech house, but like suitable in, in both settings, I guess. Uh, like an epic like synthesizer solo, very. Mm, melancholic but not in a sad way but more in like a that retro futuristic way that also like the old classic Detroit tracks used to be like melancholic uh, a little bit like lonely yearning um, but not in a well more in a way that is like a zeitgeisty way kind of uh, that never grows old, describing more like a utopia uh, in which like uh, technology and human feelings collide kind of. And uh, this track is is definitely epic, a uh, ultra long build up then breaking down into a massive synth solo, which is played by a guy that is called Benjamin Rippert, that's called the Mini Monster Solo. Sound design is done by Scanix. Uh, also a prolific producer from France, I guess. And uh, yeah, these are two tracks that have been lying in my box since 2008. I've been playing that a lot when I was still playing more out in, in these days, uh, which was 10 years ago. And I like uh, pulled this from my, from my various crates and uh, I was like, whoa, this is a track that will never grow old. This is timeless. And uh, I'm gonna definitely play this uh, way more these days again when I play techno because uh, I guess a lot of young folks these days don't know about this track anymore and this is like one of these staples in like modern 2000s techno I guess that should be played out for now and ever so this is a thing that I see myself doing more as a DJ as well like uh, not relying on the newest and like latest productions and like the big well I never played the big hits anyway but um, the stuff like everybody's crazy about but like presenting a quality timeless selection of music and this is definitely what Laurent Garnier's stuff is all about. Also an interesting side note on the Inner Visions label for a while they stopped going through a regular distributor so they they did this for a while and then decided well we're only offering our records uh, via our website. I don't know, for two, three or five years they did this. Um, having in mind, I guess, that they that their margin of selling records for like, I guess, eight or 10 euro via their website 
will make them more profit than going selling the stuff for like five euro to a distributor which resells them to, uh, for like six or seven euro to a record store and then the record store sells them for um, the same amount of, of money so which is a logical thing um thinking about how the uh, vinyl like initial pressings uh, are like decreasing massively a lot of techno labels don't sell 300 copies of a 12 inch anymore and if you take in consideration that you have like if you have a 4c full color print sleeve that this like kind of doubles the price kind of for a pressing so uh, if you sell like 300 12 inches of one you don't make any profit anymore you you lo actually lose money so uh this is a thing uh, why it makes sense for a label um, to think about alternative ways of, of spreading records or record distribution. That's why a lot of labels run via Bandcamp, for example. And uh, but now they like re recalled on their uh, concept, and you can buy their stuff via distributors again, which is good for record stores. But uh, I don't know how much money they're making on that at any way. But uh, this is not my my business. And yeah, a big recommendation. Laurent Garnier, Back to My Roots EP. Also check out other stuff from him on, there's stuff on Adbanger, there's stuff on, on, on Still Music I really love. Then there is his stuff on F Communications. Uh, Astral Dreams is one of the records I bought, the, it's the first record I bought of him, which is really great, like very minimal, more DBX style, Detroit techno, well, Detroit references as well, again. Maybe I'm going to do a video on that. And um, yeah, this is just a record I want to recommend uh, recommend to you. And if you find this sitting around in a record store, even if you're not necessarily into techno, dance floor, electronic music, this is what might, might be one of the records you should check out because this is a DJ tool, but it, it tells a whole story. And over like 10 or 12 minutes, this is a thing that people can enjoy which are not deeply into uh, well the toolish side of techno and uh, it tells a story it has like a structure and it's not it's listenable it's enjoyable it's not commercial it's not well it is as techno is repetitive but in an interesting ever-changing way and the, the synthesizer solo on the uh, aphrodisiac mix of uh, Back to My Roots is definitely one that can be enjoyed even by jazz people, I guess. And calling the aphrodisiac mix, uh, it comes to mind that uh, Roland Grand Garnier had his very first release, uh, uh, one of the very first releases he had. I guess one was Choice Acid Eiffel, and I guess he produced under the name Aphrodisiac as well on a Detroit based label, which was not Transmart. But I cannot come up with a name right now. I have, I see the logo in front of me, but uh, Aphrodisiac was definitely a name he used in the past. So this is an interesting reference to his very beginnings, I guess. So yeah, time is music. 10 years in the techno electronic music scene is like a century actually and uh, it's still good it's still playable and I will play this out more and I think more DJs should do this like uh, not only putting out like the 10 or 12 or 15 latest releases but also like going back to their crates back to the roots maybe and picking stuff that people need to to listen more and more and more and over and over again and uh, not relying on the on the big tunes and playing like best of techno sets, but uh, like putting in pieces of the puzzle that are like a little off, maybe not off the beaten path, but of the um, actual uh, string of hits or like big tunes that is coming out uh, would be good for every party, I guess. Anyway, I'm out uh, stopping rambling and stuff, editing this, and uh, you're gonna see me in the next one very soon. See you later.